sharp A will be the first notes of our show. We'll start with the seed of an idea, then plant it onto paper with a decent ticonderoga, and then watch it sprout into a musical. And then we'll help to make it grow bigger. Nothing guarantees it will stand out, and its future is unknown. So in the meantime, we will schedule a lot of meetings in Hell's Kitchen to collaborate my language. But we can't do it all alone. So we'll get together all our friends. Avoid all of our talents, we'll explore the latest trends, and avoid them when we balance the book with the score. The score with a lyric appealing to the judge. These are shapes gently nudging the satiric. and listening to Henry Sweet Henry. What are you doing? Um, I'm half looking at internet porn and half watching Doc Hollywood on HBO On Demand. <laughs> um, hey, did you see that email I forwarded you? Yeah, I uh, think. You know, the one about the new musical theater festival. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should do something. Okay, well, submissions are due in three weeks, so that would give us what? Three weeks? <laughs> uh, do we have anything ready to go? Um, no. <laughs> I think we can do something new. In three weeks? Sure. They wrote Wonderful Town in a month. They did? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a new season of The Bachelor starting up. <laughs> and I did just get the first season of Wonder Woman on DVD. See, we're going to be extremely busy this month. No, <laughs> I think we should do it. <sighs> look, look, I'm going to go to the park and do some bird watching. Let's both brainstorm and I'll come over later. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Well, you said you were going to go to the park and do some bird watching, and then you just dragged your chair over here. <laughs> <laughs> you have some transition music and some th something to indicate time passage? Well, it's too late. I'm already here, so let's pretend time has passed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you brainstorm? Well, if by brainstorm you mean masturbate and watch Doc Hollywood, then yes, I brainstorm. Excellent. Excellent. So, what are we writing? I don't know. <laughs> Should we adapt something? Maybe a short story or a poem? Uh, I think we could do something original. But what? You and I haven't been writing at all. So let's use this as a writing exercise. Get us off our asses. Let's just take a patch that we'll write up until the deadline for three weeks and then 
No matter what we have, we'll put it in an envelope and submit it. Yeah, but I don't want to submit something half-baked and get rejected by the festival. I don't think we should worry about whether or not we get into the festival. The festival? The festival? <laughs> the King's Festival! <laughs> and his mother taking for his new wife, the festival! <laughs> Stop, judges. I don't want to appear like a total jack-off. Well, put it this way. Anything we write is going to be better than Shogun the Musical. Oh, snap! I thought Shogun the Musical was good! Actually, I never saw it, so that's not very fair. Well, I didn't see it either, but I have opinions on things I've never seen all the time. I had this rip on Ruthless the Musical, and guess what? You never saw it. I never saw it. <laughs> My back hurts. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> scene was just us talking about what's right, we could have this exact scene in the show. <laughs> so everything we say from now on could actually be in our show? Yeah. Like this? Like this. This too? This too. So I could say the Wonder Woman for President and that can get into our show? Uh -huh. Wonder Woman for President! <laughs> I'd watch a show that's that. Me too. But do you think other people would want to watch a show like that? <laughs> Set to music, what if what we're saying could be said in a song? Hey, that's not a bad idea, perhaps we could use it. Music in a musical, how can we go wrong? We could ask significant questions. We could get important points across. Like, are we writing for art? Yeah, and if art is free, what for fame? Then will fame get folks to trust us? But when they trust us, if it's just us, and you to nobody in New York. Hey, I think it's working. We're discovering choices. Lots of things to think about when writing a show. Yeah, creating a vehicle to showcase our voices. If I don't need our vocal cords, I need one for love. Uh -huh. <laughs> ask significant questions. We Across. Like, are we writing for art? And is art a springboard for fame? And will fame get us a paycheck? But will a paycheck mean that we're sellouts? And if we sell out, will they yell out me and you? To nobody's in New York. Teachers, maybe someday I'll show you get a theater. And if not this festival, then summer out west. Yeah, to the actors in our show, what could be better? Before, you know the lyric is sweeter. Okay, but here's the deal. One of them sounds like it's two syllables, and the other sounds like it's three. So it's like, sweeter, theater. Now, does that rhyme? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to keep changing it. Five, six, seven, eight. Maybe someday our show will get a theater. And if not this festival, then summer out west. Yeah, TV actors in our show want to be sweeter. <laughs> Questions. We could get important points across, like are we writing for art? And is art a springboard for fame? And will fame get us a sitcom? And will the sitcom get us on Ellen? And will Ellen get folks that like us? And if they like us, will they mark us me and you to nobody's end? Bye. <laughs> Hi, Heidi. 
Hi. Heidi, I'm I'm <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi, I'm Susan. Susan, nice to meet you. Likewise. Hi. 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 Oh, what are you all cute for? I just came from an audition. For what? Mamma Mia. <gasps> On the Broadway. On the Broadway. What part? It is a replacement under study ensemble last stage singer dance. <laughs> Show, I should be saying your address in front of the audience. But then how will 
get your turkey burger. It'll get your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So the festival runs in September. And if we get chosen by the festival, we'll run for six performances. And then we immediately transfer to the intimate Radio City Music Hall. I'm worried about getting so close to my wedding dates. You're getting married? I'm in November. And these notes are my beautiful, beautiful maids of honor. <laughs> okay, we'll have plenty of time to discuss schedules, dates, all that stuff later. Right now, I think we need to get out of the seat because it feels a little long. <laughs> <laughs>
You don't play paper. Just put pen to paper and write. Okay, I know. I know. I'll write. Yeah. gems in here. I mean, the Golden Apple, Merrily We Roll Along, mm -hmm. Got To Go Disco. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, how's the writing coming? Um, I'm actually trying to decide how to kill myself. <laughs> a piece of shit Commodore 64 ass computer crashed on me. I lost the last two hours of work. Hunter. Yeah. Apple S. You're supposed to save that shit. I know. I thought it was auto-saving. Oh, I need a new computer. I feel like I'm writing this thing on an Atari. How much did you lose? Uh, it saved up until my line. It saved up until my line. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I, all you gotta worry. <laughs> all you gotta worry about is starting. Get away from the computer. Pick up a, a notepad, pencil, and just write, draw, doodle, play, anything. Okay. Okay. Anything you want. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my playbills. You just keep writing and don't jack off and watch TV. Are you calling me a procrastinator? <laughs> okay. okay. Just, just write anything. Anything. I don't know what to write. Thank you. 
hungry, angry. <laughs> Larry, do you want anything? <coughs> Larry! It's okay, we talked to the union so you can speak now. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? If you again? want me to get you something to eat. No, I'm good, I actually ate earlier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want something in my pop pocket? If you're looking for a meal without a big deal, what you gonna get? Copy infringement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that we can add some, you know, um, product placement into the show. They do it in movies, so why not in musicals? <laughs> yeah, or we could go full tilt NASCAR and add um, sponsor patches all over our clothes, like STP or Budweiser. Uh, hostess. <laughs> Where did you get that? It's the turkey burger Susan ordered earlier. <laughs> oh, shut up. I can hear you, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks, by the way. <laughs> Just jumping on the train and being game for all this. I know you're used to the great white way. Jeff, I have done two Broadway shows. Well, that's two more than any of us. Want to know a secret? Mm-hmm. I love working on Mr. Chaos. I do, too. So are Harry and Sassy and Kill Girls, and maybe these are going to my day job. <laughs> anyway, I'm watching this. Do you know, guys, you're writing songs for me. I have been in this business since I was seven, and this is the first new role that I've ever created. Really? Yes! I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been so lucky. I've been able to support myself as an actress, which is rare. I bowed on a Broadway stage, and uh, there's nothing like that feeling, but I don't know, being in some big ensemble or understudy, I just, I never got to show all of me. For once, I don't have to fit the mold! I am the mold! <laughs> Not the smelly mold. <laughs> the mold. <laughs> hey, do you think Heidi's funny? What? Chuck, this is a little out of the blue, but what do you think Susan thinks of me? I'm serious. What do you mean? I mean, she's very funny. I just wonder what she thinks sometimes. Funnier than me? Different funny. I don't know. I don't know. I was, I was just, just wondering. wondering.
Where should we fly to? We can fly around that preposition at the end of your sentence. Yeah, we're <laughs> flying. Just because we're flying. Dude, we're we'll looking for over New York City. There's the Castle yeah. Project Runway, and there's Tim Gunn. Oh, it is. It's Tim Gunn. And Heidi Klum. Yeah, Isa, in or out. A fleet of Zane. Self-indulgent bullshit. You know what? Diving car guy. What do you mean? Well, I'll tell you what I mean. <laughs> there are some people in the world who say writing stories or composing music or dancing sparkly dances is easy for them. Nothing interferes with their ability to create. While I celebrate their creative freedom, a little part of me wants to punch those motherfuckers in the teeth. <laughs> this song, I sing this song for you guys and for all the rest of us. We'll sing back up! <laughs>
going to wake you up at 4 a.m. to say things like, Nobody cares what you think. You look like an idiot. No matter how hard you try, you'll never be good enough. Why is it if some stranger walked up to me on the subway platform and said these things, I would think he was a mentally ill asshole? But if the vampire inside my head says it, it's the voice of reason. You have a story to tell for the doll out of your front door. Show and 40 
words or less. How about this show fucking rocks? <laughs> Oh my 
God, this show has everything. God, this show has everything. God, this show has everything.
who's standing here quietly and hiding us all. <laughs> He wants us to keep writing and expanding to include whatever happens next. Ooh. Yeah, and then it, it, we went to lunch and he took us out to like really iron out the details of our options and we talked about movie rights, net weekly operating profits, subsidiary rights, like all of it. We just hammered it all out and oh, oh my god, for dessert we had the most amazing panna cotta in this <laughs> It had like a, like a citrus? <laughs> <laughs> all that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things are happening after the festival. Lots of things are happening. They're happening to develop it.
Freeze Aiming Tuesday was Joan Rivers, and last night we had Bernadette Peters! Oh, you know what's surreal? Singing part of lunch with Bernadette, and then having her be in the green room and want to meet us! Hello, Kitty Carlisle Hart! Did Susan tell you what Kitty Carlisle Hart said to her? Uh-huh. She asked Heidi, where do you get that beautiful voice? And then she turns to me all lovely and classy and Kitty Car Carlisle Hardy and goes, how do you keep your feet so clean? <laughs> That's amazing. You know it's fun when you hear us come to see you in the show. Lots of fancy people are coming to see us off Broadway. Every night it seems there's a star to discuss. They're coming backstage to meet us at the Bay Girl on Broadway, where lots of things are happening to us. Uh, to have your show on Broadway? If you know the name of the Broadway theater you'd like to book your show in, press one now! <laughs> Wait, why don't we just put a full page ad on the Times stating that we're transferring? A full page ad in the Sunday Times costs over $100,000. Ooh, Tuesday? <laughs> I'm serious, Jeff. I want to try Broadway for reals. Hunter, we, we got into the festival. We had a producer, we had an amazing run. But we've been closed for 10 months. If, if it was going to happen, it would have happened. I think it's time to move on. I don't want to move on. I want our show to go to Broadway. I have another idea. About what? I'm coming over. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. How could you call me out earlier for rolling my chair over here, but it's okay for you to do it now? <laughs> That's because we had a little underscore music thingy saying that mm, this is some time that has passed. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Okay, okay. On the record. Here we go. Hi, I'm Hunter. Say hi, I'm Jeff. What? Are you Just say I'm Jeff. I'm Jeff. And we are coming to you live from the internet. And by live, we mean Tate. Welcome to the first pilot episode of the Title of Show Show. As opposed to the second pilot episode. I know a lot of you are wondering what's going to happen to the Title of Show. And the answer is, drum roll please. <laughs> title of Show is moving to Broadway! Broadway? Yeah, we don't know how or when or where, so those are three things that we need to work on. <laughs> but stay tuned into titleshow.com and YouTube for further updates. Say bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm creating an online newsreel saying that we are moving to Broadway. Well, that should see on the deal! <laughs> <laughs> Hey 
everybody. So this is weird, huh? Oh, I know. You guys, how long has it been since we've all been in the same room? A while. I know you guys are wondering why I called up here tonight. Tyler's show is moving to Broadway. Oh my god, really? Yes! Now all I need to know from each of you is, does anyone have a million dollars? Hunter, be serious. Okay, we're not transferring yet. But someone from the time, uh, from New York one must be watching Tyler's show show because on this week's onstage telecast, they actually said that we might be moving to Broadway. Shut it. I'm going to go on YouTube and announce that I want a golden pony. <laughs> Um, will I can talk on Broadway? Probably not. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, if we were going to go for Broadway, we've got to get our faces back out there. I'm telling you, our public is not done with us, people. This morning, we got an invitation to go to this garden party event to kick off Gay Pride Week, and I think we should do it. Well, what do they want to do? Just like an opening number. Uh, when is it? Two weeks from Monday. Well, if you guys can work around Little Mermaid rehearsals, I'm good. Susan? Absolutely. Any chance I get to curse and jump around in front of some drag queens, count me in. <laughs> Cinderella, capital, this is Susan. Hey, it's me. Can you talk? Here's a question. Little Susan's day job makes her A, grumpy, B, mumpy, or C, all of the above. It's B, mumpy. Hey, we got another question. <laughs> Hey Heidi, it's me, Hunter. Um, can you hey. stop? Yeah, I just have like a sec. I'm on a five from the roller skating eel rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we got another invite. Whatever it is, I'm in. I need some more creative fun time with my it's, friends. It's to perform at the, at the Actors Bun Black Tie Gala. Ooh, does that mean that I get to put on a fancy dress and play me again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll count you. You guys, episode 6 of the Tyler Show Show has over 10,000 hits. Really? The big news is, Hunter and I met the Broadway producer, and he's interested in Tyler Show for real! Seriously? We are back, people! We break up the Broadway Show and come to Broadway with us! Oh my god, you guys, this is finally really happening! Yes, all we have to do is get into Greenland and Broadway draft, so the sooner we make some changes, the sooner we'll hit the big time! Change it, you've got to change it, don't change it, you've got to change it, don't change it, don't change a thing. Change it, don't change it, you've got to change it, don't change it, you've got to change it, don't change it, don't change a thing. Okay, so Jeff and I have made a new pass at the show incorporating some potential changes from the opera we've had. I'm going to uh, add musical bridges to What Kind of Girl Is She and Part of It All. Also, since we want to include everything that's happening to us now, the whole off Broadway run, we're going to the old festival medley to keep the running time around 90 minutes. 90 minutes? Why can't we rock it like Coast of Utopia? Just serving you nine glorious hours of title the show. <laughs> change it, don't change it, you've got to change it, don't change it, you've got to change it, don't change it, don't change a thing. Okay, we got some new feedback. Move Vampire the earlier. It seems kind of creepy if it comes too late in the show. I agree with that. Me too. Okay, the Brooklyn TV reference. I want to think about that. We talked about that. That's for Jeff. Oh, hey, do you think we get cut high to take her top off? Why don't we cut that? That's every straight guy's favorite part of the show. <laughs> change it, don't change it. You've got to change it, don't change it. Dear Talking Broadway's all that chat, is it true that titled <laughs> show has its eye on Broadway? Change it. Why anyone would think a tiny insidery downtown show would appeal to a wider audience is beyond me. Don't change it. I'm sorry, but four chairs and a keyboard does not a musical make. You've got to change it. That being said, I wouldn't be surprised if their crappy little show does get to Broadway and they just put this entire post in it word for word. <laughs> Signed, Sweeney Lover 12, send. <laughs> change it, don't change it, you've got to change it, don't change it. Change it, don't change it, don't change a thing. Change it, don't change it, you've got to change it, don't change it, you've got to change it, don't change it, don't change a thing. Hi, 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 sorry I'm late, I'm still putting this record. You guys, you should, this isn't even my part, you should see how much they're spending on this. I have a custom molded back brace. Can we please get started, everybody? It's okay, you're fine, he's just ADHD. What's ADHD? All business hunter. Can we order food? I don't want to get angry. Well, gotta eat something. No, can we please focus? I think the show has way too many obscure references. What? So 
So what, would you say like Mary Stout got hit by a hot dog cart? No, we should say like Al Broker got hit by a hot dog cart. But Mary Stout really did get hit by a hot dog cart. Why would you change that? Justin, you said it yourself. Your brother has no idea who Mary Stout is. When you start thinking about average ticket buyers, group sales, tourists. Since when did you start caring about group sales? Since I started caring about group sales. Change it, don't change it, don't change the thing. Hunter, I know you're there. You were just on that conference call. Anyway, I'm fine to lose that stuff about Donna Murphy, but I don't agree at all with cutting Heidi's song, and I know, I know you don't either. I'm proud of that song. I wish you would support me more at these meetings. Me. I think we need to clean up the language of the show. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. In the script, I count it, and we say motherfucker six times and fuck eleven times. Well, so now it's seven and twelve! <laughs> 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 you change the language in a show with a song called Dive in Her Dive? Well, do you honestly think we're going to get a Broadway draft approved if we don't change the language? I mean, think about family, sweet, gray-haired Matt and Maylene. Those Matt and have lived through death, divorce, kids, world wars. I think they can handle me dropping the F-bomb in a musical. Mm. You have one new message. Hey Hunter, it's Sutton Foster. Listen, I couldn't really tell from your email if Heidi wasn't staying with the show or what exactly, but we should talk. I mean, you know how much I love the show I've been in here, and well, we should definitely talk. Okay, I look forward to it. Bye. Oh my god. Sutton Foster just called. She wants to talk to us about the show. What? I think she would be perfect in Heidi's track. Change it, don't change it, don't change a thing. What are you talking about? Look, Heidi already has another job, and Sutton Foster is the it girl of Broadway right now. Tony Award winner, multiple Tony Award nominee, this stuff matters to investors. Using Sutton Foster doesn't make any sense. We have to rewrite the entire show. Well, then we rewrite the entire show. Are you out of your mind? Look, Hunter, Jeff, us just being us isn't enough. I mean, I need this show to happen, and that might be what it takes. We are not cutting Heidi. God, I'm so sick of this. This used to be us just being together and creating, and now it's about doing it ever takes and getting it right. We are trying to get it right. Well, who decides what's right, Hunter? Show me the magic formula for a successful Broadway Why show. Why is it always a no with you, Wendy? Why is it always a yes with Because you? I'm trying to get my show to Broadway. Your show. Our show. You know what I mean. I don't even know what our show is anymore. Don't worry, he's just ABH. What's this photo shoot for again? I just for Broadway investors. Read your email. Okay. You guys, before we go any further, I think we should fully discuss what each of our contributions were to this piece and how we should be compensated. You're right! <laughs> this is a great time to talk about profit sharing! This may have to be the second ace. <laughs> By the way, if this show really is happening, um, are you guys going to be able to use any of these or will you just reshoot when you bring in Sutton Foster? Fun. It's a lot of energy. Oh, <laughs> passive aggressive. You guys. You know what? 
I'm sorry that I found God replacing you. I'm sorry that you feel excluded. I'm sorry that this cuts into your day job. And Jeff, you are so fucking shut down, I can't even talk to you anymore. Terrible language. You know what? Go write your own fucking show. I'm done. Hunter! What? Please say something wacky and clever now. Hunter!
throw out there. Me too. Me three. How do we end it? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I mean, we can't just keep on adding whatever happens to us. <laughs> we could. <laughs> I just want to make sure not to taint the ending with too many words. Taint. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just step off. Let's just put the show out there and then see what happens. That sounds good to me. Sure.